Hello everybody, Jim here, talking over some footage of Pirate Swarm, and I'm being attacked by multiple buccaneers, a couple of cutlasses, a constellation Andromeda. I'm in, I'm in deep crap. I'm, oh, oh no, look at the guns. Look at all, oh gosh, oh look at them. It uh, tickles, <laughs> it tickles. Oh no, it tickles. The white whale is a behemoth. It is Leviathan. It will devour you. <laughs> look at him go. <laughs> and I'm missing a gun too. You know why I'm missing a gun? Because a cutlass bounced off of it and the cutlass broke. That's how boss this thing is. Oh man, a lot of people picked on this ship. I made a video called Defending the 600i because a lot of people were really mad about it and I didn't understand why. Let's see, let's, let's take care of this one hit. Take care of this constellation here. Where is it? Two hits and three hits. Come on, one more. One more, baby. Mm. <laughs> oh, that would be what? Four hits, that's eight. I could have done that in three shots if I'd had uh, my third gun. Anyway, yeah, so I made that video because people were being really nasty about it. Like, oh, this thing is worthless. It'll never be a good ship. It'll be terrible for combat. You're just pirate bait. Well, guys, guess what? Everybody who bought this ship and everybody who is me who made a video saying it would be good, we were all right. <laughs> and you were wrong, because this thing... This thing is awesome. Uh, this is easily the coolest ship that I have no intention of ever getting. Because, <laughs> look at him go, look at all the pieces. Uh, and I'm still no damage, even though never, I've got like, I had like six ships shooting at me. Um, so yeah, uh, we were all right and you were all wrong and this is a really good ship for its intended purpose, which is luxury and escape. Uh, I believe I said that it would be good at punching a hole through things and flying away. Like if you get fighters in front of you, you want to scatter them so you can get through and then use your uh, your remote turrets to defend from the rear. It's really good at that. It is very, very good at that. And, you know, it moves like an Aurora, which sucks for a fighter. But considering this thing is about the size of a Starfare, and I'm going to try and input uh, some video of me ramming, a star ramming this with a Starfare, uh, considering it's that size, this is amazing. This is amazingly fast, amazingly agile. It, it turns like a champ in comparison to... <laughs> in comparison to the Starfare. It's just really, really good. So for everybody who said the 600i would suck, uh, please go watch my Defending the 600i video again, and you'll see that I was basically right about everything. And I knew I'd be in the ballpark. I was sure, <laughs> look at him bouncing off me. I was sure I'd be in the ballpark. I didn't know that CIG would knock it completely out of the park and give us this amazing ship. This thing is really, really cool. Uh, again, I don't want it. I don't care for luxury, but this is nice. So congratulations, 600i owners. I'm very, very happy for you guys. This thing is awesome. It's everything that I could have ever hoped it would be if I'd bought one. Congratulations, this thing's great. This is my probably, I would say this is the second perfect ship in the game. The first perfect ship, of course, being the Starfare Gemini, which is the best ship in the game, bar none. Uh, this ship, though, is the second perfect ship. I really like it. So let's cut to some footage of me using these similar ships. I believe I used an Andromeda. I used a Buccaneer to try and blow up my brother. And mind you, there was a bit of a learning curve because he never fights with the big ships. Uh, I might give you some footage to illustrate that a little bit later on. But after after I explained to him the best way to deal with fighters in a big ship, and he learned that you can sort of, you know, fly backwards and bump the fighters and knock them for a loop while you get turned around, he actually, he wrecked my face. I mean, he was beating me bad before, but it got embarrassing. So I'm going to cut to that footage. I'm sorry, my audio levels are a little bit off. I'm going to try and fix them in editing. I'm a little quiet. And I hope you guys enjoy it, especially you 600i owners out there. I'm really happy for you guys because because this thing, I don't know if I said it already or not, but this thing is baller. <laughs> you, will, you could do much worse than rolling in a 600i. All right, here we go. Okay, what do you think on the count of shoot? Like one, two, shoot. Call it out. One, two, shoot. Am I even hitting you? I think I'm firing around you. These guns are terrible, man. I overheated. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You can take it's time to back up some. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, well that was not encouraging. Oh, and were you targeted on me? You just shot me. No, I can't target you. Hit Y. I did. I can't target you. Shoot. Oh, wow, I'm dead. Uh, these guns hit real hard. Yeah, yeah, they do. Okay, if we do it from this distance, you yeah. should be able to hit me, right? I would hope. Well, I mean, my pip is red. I'm going to zoom in on you. Wait, 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 you? wait, wait. No. On your mark. Get set. Shoot. What? I hit you with all three. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was... I mean, wow. Um. Yeah, now I'm, I'm looking at you just chilling in your chair. Like, yeah, I just blew that guy up. Just ended a life. I'm chilling. All right, let's <laughs> just end it alive. I know, man. It's just... Holy crap, dude. I'm gonna zoom in. Wait for it. On your mark. Get set. Shoot. <laughs> One shot kill. I'm a freaking sniper. Oh, wow. Oh, you... Holy crap. <laughs> oh, the... the, the... Oh jeez. Alright, let's do it. You can't get me. Oh jeez. Yep. Oh, you're not dead? Nope. I, I thought you blew up. I'm sorry. No, I can't go fast enough. I thought I could get out of range. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were blown up or I'd have shot at you some more. Alright, I'm doing it again. Uh, don't worry, I'm so drifty, I won't hit you. Gotcha. Yes, you did. Honestly, kind of surprised I hit you. <laughs> Maybe I didn't juke enough. I'm gonna juke some. Oh, uh, that will make a difference for sure. Like I don't even know how you hit me, Matt. I don't know how I hit you either. After flying through Vandal Storm, I can tell you it is not easy for this thing to hit you. Again, though, it would be significantly easier if I was using a joystick. Come on. I can't get you, I cannot get you into my... Oh, not a chance. There's that's, just no way I can catch up Yeah, that's not gonna happen. And mind you, I'm sitting oh, still geez. and working like a turret. Maybe you should try flying away. Oh, wow, you're quick. Holy crap, I can't keep up with you. That's right, I'm about to die. Woo! Alright, I'm about to die too. This is a suicide pact. Yeah, I'm doing yeah, I'm coming for you. We've gotta keep something between us. That would be a good idea. Uh, yeah. Oh, I stopped. I shouldn't have stopped. Just don't fly in a straight line, you'll be good. Oh dang on it! Now you're in trouble. Full sound when you shoot. Oh, you are turning faster than I thought. Oh, dang it. I'm not even sure what happened there. But I like jerked forward and hit you. I backed up over you. Oh! <laughs>
Yeah, okay, now I'll give you a second to get oriented. No, it's all right, come on. And now I'm gonna try, if I can just get going fast enough. Oh, I lost you. Oh, there you are. Yeah. What? What's happening? Oh, you're backing up. <laughs> That's very effective, Ed. All right. Another strategy that I had not considered before. You can't hit me if you can't see me. That's true. It worked last time. Oh man, I can't see you at all. Oh, there you are. No, you can't see me. Dang it. New strategy. Launching missiles from behind cover. Oh no, you can do that too. Yeah. You can't hit me, I'm a ghost. I'm a wraith. Man, you're fast. I'm very fast. Dang it, you're fast too. In a different kind of way. I wish I had my tail gunner. I bet you do. Well, I wish I could change my load. Oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> this is much harder than fighting. Stop! Than fighting a Gemini. Because <laughs> you can. No! No! You got you once. With one laser. I know I lost a wing. I can't even see you. Crap. Are you damaged at all? Oh. Ah. Ooh. E. Ooh. <laughs> You're right up in my face. I can't back up. I can't take my fingers off because I have to keep juking. Woo! Just missed that asteroid. Oh dang. Alright, I'm calling it. 
the 600 highest boss. <laughs> oh man, that was, that was it, this quick. would be so much easier if I didn't have to avoid these stinking asteroids. And it would have been easier for me if I could have put my big ballistic gun on top, but you're no longer allowed to swap loadouts when you use a rented ship. It would have been more interesting for me if I could just run from you and let my tail gunner shoot you. Yeah. Yeah, lots of variables here, but... So, but but this is the thing, though. I thought this was a stupid design at first. Now that I know that it can out-accelerate almost anything that's a real danger to it, the idea that you've got that little turret on the back to just take pot shots of whatever's chasing you yeah, is a legitimate defense now. It certainly is. Now, does it have just a turret on the top, or does it have one on the top and bottom? It's got one on the bottom, too. Yeah, those two tail guns make so much more I sense now. I don't know if the one on the bottom is a genuine tail gun. It might just be some kind of a belly gun. Uh, whatever. Uh, so, your mine and your initial thought <laughs> that the big guns on the front were just like the... Get out of my way guns. The cow catcher on the front of a train... Yeah. To clear to clear the road so that it can run away. And then those little things in the back are just there to take pot shots at whatever's chasing it so that because you were able to follow me and yeah. just light me up from behind, Absolutely. even though I was running away from you. If you had two turrets shooting you in the face, you'd be far less likely to do that. I would also point out that you juking, going backwards and going up into me was extremely effective. Because I had to stay close enough that you couldn't turn to follow me, but when I got close enough that you couldn't turn to follow me, you could hit me like a sumo wrestler. <laughs> yeah, I was al I was alternating between uh, cockpit view and external view so I could see you and hit you yeah. with the ship. Knocking me around, and then you knock me off target, and then when I come back, I see your front guns facing me, and it freaked me out. No, that was, that was pretty effective. I can almost hear you guys from my position here in the past screaming, but maybe Ed's really good with the 600i and generally sucks with the Buccaneer. While I freely admit that there are better people out there than me, I'm not sure that any of them, given the amount of ammunition on that Buccaneer with that loadout, could have blown up the 600i since I had like a dozen ships and half an hour to shoot at him and there was no visible damage. Uh, and just, just so you know that Ed's not really amazing with that ship, here you can see are scores from his very first attempt to take a big ship through Vandal Swarm. This is not my first attempt. I've done it three or four times now. I got 40. He got nine. <laughs> he is brand spanking new at using great big ships against fighters. So the fact that he was able to come into this completely fresh and absolutely whoop me in that Buccaneer, I didn't even have a chance, speaks very well of the 600i. And that's it for the 600i combat trials for today. I think it did incredibly well. Uh, we also did a few other tests, which I'll show you here. There was a, a drag race. And if you look here, you can see that the 600i easily outpaces the Constellation. And if you look here, this is, uh, this is sort of like a race out and around an asteroid. You can see there are two views here. The Constellation is my best run in the Constellation and my worst run in the 600i. And you can look, the constellation on my best run, I actually just crashed into the satellite or whatever the heck that thing is. Uh, in the 600i, I flew past it, but still, it's pretty obvious that, uh, that the 600i beat it handily. So yeah, that's it for the constellation versus the 600i and the buccaneer versus the 600i. I hope all you 600i owners out there are happy that I've said 600i this many times in a row. Now, I hope you're happy that you got such a great ship. I think it works really, really well for its intended purpose. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. Let me know if you'd like to see more footage of the inside of the 600i. I also recorded that, but I didn't have time to put it into this video because it takes 20 minutes to tour this ship. It is big. It is very big. But uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see that and I will get back to, oh man, next week we probably got to do... Uh, what you call it, the uh, anniversary sale. There's going to be a big free fly event so everybody can fly all of the ships in the game, whether they own Star Citizen or not, starting on the 23rd through the 30th. Don't forget to check that out if you've been meaning to try out the game. Uh, I'll be covering that a little bit. I still have to do the Mercury Star Runner and the Apollo 
and the Hercules Star Lifter. <laughs> I got so much catching up to do. And I will get to all of that starting next time. Thank <laughs> you.